Uh, here we are at Camp Wasiwagon, starting the survival training, three-day certification course. Excited to see what they have in store for us, Thomas Coyne Survival School. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, just getting started. We got up 4.30 in, in the morning, drove here, pretty uneventful, no traffic, which is nice. Uh, forest up here is definitely conifer, not chaparral, which is nice. And uh, yeah, we're excited to get started. A couple people here, a couple people here for the seven day course, some for just the weekend, and then we have the three day course. So it looks like we're all starting at the same, and then uh, you know, th those in the more advanced carry on. Boom, I got my itty bitty knife, I got my itty bitty knife right there. Uh, oh, I got my big knife, there. and I got the bigger knife. That's an axe, dude. Yeah, all right, so we'll check in with you guys in a little guys. bit. Day one of Thomas Coyne survival. This morning we all got together. It was like a two-hour lecture, talking about the basics of survival, stabilizing any major wounds, to um, escaping the exposure of elements. So exposure is number two, and then number three being uh, exportation, getting the heck out of there. Um, so part of the exposure portion is we are building our own debris shelter out of materials that we're finding in the area and just a two foot piece of paracord so we already started that and i just ran to go get the gopro and i'll set it up as we go through our shelter builds um but yeah it's been really cool so far it's really fun and i look forward to sharing our shelter build with you guys all right talk to you soon Spot. Mighty Woodsman. Woo. Check out our debris huts. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Me. It's nice. Our signage. It's my home for the night. Looking good. Watch for children. <laughs> this is a uh, this is a three bedroom. <laughs> it's gonna get snug. But I think we did really good. There's no cracks in there. I don't see any light coming through. I mean, we're crushing it, gentlemen. Good job. Hey. Hey, get in. Oh, wait. That's a video. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, Woo. out at our shelters, uh, night one. Our 
Wasa Wagon Hilton. Wasa Wagon cr Crazy's uh, spot. The Hilton at Wasa Wagon. We're blowing up our stuff and we're going to sleep in our shelters. Oh, this ought to be fun. Look at this 10 mile per hour speed limit. Children at play. Watch for them. That's the boys. I'm in this one. Group, ep group effort on both these bad boys. There's bears. <laughs> There's bears. Oh my gosh. The bears. Oh, so yeah, weird. we're in a survival shelter. Look at this. We yeah, built we it. built it ourselves. We built it. It's so crazy. Yeah. Now you just have to get a running jump. You kind of like you're sliding into home. <laughs> <laughs> just sit it just right. I'm like a bear burrito, <laughs> just a little snack all wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> this tasty little snack. <laughs> nope. Hey, guess who's alive? Uh, Tommy's alive. Oh, Everyone's man. alive. We crazy. made it to the back. I can't, survived. I can't believe I slept through that thing. Here, why don't you tell us all about it? It was scary. A spider crawled in my ear. I, I wonder if it laid eggs. Actually, I. You know, and uh, what's his bad about it? You'll know in five day days. Yeah. Yeah. When they, when they start been, eating your brain. When they pop through your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, dude. That was crazy. that with us. Lamp. Key cord, just put it in here. A little bit of kit. Drink some water and let's go eat. Oh, just split it a leg. Just split a leg, we got uh, wildlife first aid. Tommy's feeling it. good. We can split a leg. We can stop a wound, stop bandage a it. Wound. We're, we're basically Batman. Batman. We're basically Batman. Uh, Glad we slept in these last night. Because now we got to destroy it. You were right over here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, she's right. I don't, right know, there. What, I don't know how to you it's lean to. Ripping it. great. It's pretty light. So, breaking down the old survival huts. Survival huts. Yep. All right, let's get this thing set up at a good angle. Watch for children.
right, good morning. Good morning. Day three. <laughs> Day three, last night we slept in the Tapui. I didn't the sleep in the Tapui. Luxury. In the lap of luxury. <laughs> slept on the ground. We upgraded foam mattress and everything. Tommy didn't get up till 20 seconds ago. Um, and then Seth did the backpacking tent on the ground under the stars. It was beautiful. A little smoky. Yeah, the fire's going on down the mountain. So that'll be interesting when we figure out how we're going to get out of here. Wait, we gotta what? Go the other way. Way. We got to go through Big Bear. Go up to Big Bear. Up and around. The first things we talked about. What delineates wilderness first aid from regular first aid? You have a longer pot potential response time. You have mm -hmm. to do more. Right. And just by the very definition, what are we talking about? No yeah, access to an ambulance. We're right. the first responders. Yeah, you are the first right. responder. Non urban settings. All right. We are done. We are now uh, wilderness. Oh, shoot. I turned on the <laughs> shield wipers. <laughs> wilderness certified. First aid certified. Three days in the woods at uh, Wasi Camp Wasiwagon with the Thomas Coyne Survival School. Yeah. Instructors were great. Uh, Kanan, Rob, Adam. They were fantastic. Jorge. Jorge uh, was one of the trainers. Tra in, uh, instructors in training. Training. Met a lot of really cool people. Met some opportunities for some folks to link up with later down the road to do longer excursions like this, as well as met somebody that's starting up their own out in Montana. That will be really cool to follow up with her. Super cool. See how that works out. Lots of good energy. Good group of people. Yep, absolutely. It's fun watching how people like first day attitudes to final day attitudes. Yeah, you know, like throughout, I just think everybody kind of warms up. The Tommy, was in, awesome. Tommy yeah. has spent the night in a shelter. Tommy spent built. the night in the shelter that we built from debris. We <clears throat> um, field dressed a rabbit, ate it, ate its heart, kidneys, and liver. Delicious. It was delicious. We learned a ton about first aid, an incredible amount, in a small amount of time, which was great. And uh, we learned some general skills for the wild, and I'm excited to go back and learn more about land navigation, stone napping, trapping, um, as well as some different climate survival uh, techniques, like out in the desert, and uh, when it's snowing and stuff. So all in all, I would give them a, uh, give them a high rating Thomas Coyne Survival Schools, it was great. Um, I think it got cut short a little bit. Yeah, yeah I think we missed some fires. stuff because of the fire that happened on this mountain. Air quality was low. Oh yeah, the air quality right now is pretty bad, but yeah, we're we're getting out of Dodge and we're gonna go get a cheeseburger. We're having to take an <laughs> alternate route yeah. home because of the fires. Tommy, what'd you think? Give me a quick wrap up. That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good? Fun. What's your favorite part? the girls <laughs> all right and on that note we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up uh check in with us late i'll check it with you guys later and uh thanks for uh thanks for watching later guys ciao Woo.